Hi everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to AV Automation Now. Today I'm going to walk you through what a QA engineer actually do into the day-to-day -day work life. So I have created a step-by-step -step plan to give you a clear picture of the activities which are involved. So if you are a fresher or in case if you are planning for a QA interview, this video will definitely help you because this is the first step. Whenever you appear for an interview, they ask what are your day-to-day -day activities. And in case if you are not into QA engineer, in case you do not know what are the activities in what, by watching this video, you will get a clear picture. So the day generally starts by checking the health of the application. So this can be done either manually verifying your application or by reviewing the results of the automation script that were executed on the CI CD pipeline. Next is the daily stand-up meeting or scrum meeting, in short, also called as DSM. So here the team discussed three key important points, which are what you worked on yesterday and what is the task which you are planning to pick up today and if there is any blocker that needs to be addressed. So this is a very short meeting, generally of 15 minutes in which everyone gives their update and most important, they share if there's any block. Moving on to the next step, is checking your project board. In most of the organizations, we use Jira. So Jira is a project management tool in which you can see all the tasks which are assigned to you. If you have a Scrum board or if you have a Kanban board inside Jira, you can check your project board. You can check over there what are the tasks which are assigned to you. If there's any new task which is assigned by developer and you can check if there's any bug which you raised earlier is fixed and now requires retesting. Fine. Now moving on to the next step, which is Core testing activities. In core testing activity, there are activities like creating the test cases. For creating the test cases, you can use the tools like Test Rail or X Ray, right? I've also created a dedicated video on the different software testing tools. I will attach that in the description box. In case if you want to watch, you can watch that also. The next step is executing the test case. You can perform regression testing, you can perform cross-browser testing, device compatibility testing, mobile testing, API testing, right? Next one is, in case if you're an instance, you will automate your test cases using the script. Now, the next step is technical collaboration. If you're an instance, you will be involved in the pull request review because there is a proper PR process which we follow. If you are writing your automation script, you will raise a PR and then, then this PR will be reviewed by your team members. You will be participating in the code reviews. You will be participating in the reviewing pull request. Next one is the text incubs. Now moving on to the next step, which is analyzing the log, which is again, very important step. If you are testing any application, for example, login page, and you are getting some error, so you can directly go to your log management tool. And some of the common tools are DataDog or Splunk, which are used for this. There you can verify for your service application. What is the error you are getting? You can check that in case if you are raising bug also, you can attach the screenshot of the logs or you can just copy the logs and attach it in your bug. This will be helpful for the developers also to understand better about the issue. Now moving on to the next step, which is release management. It's not applicable for every day, but in case if there is a release planned for that day, as a QA engineer, you should know what to do as part of the release management. In most of the organizations, it is DevOps team or developer who deploys the code into production. But in some of the organizations, QA is also handling the release management part where QA is deploying the code to the production. So as a QA engineer, what you have to do, you have to verify all the changes which are there on the master branch of your application are tested on the lower environment like staging or pre-prod and also you should have a rollback plan. Rollback plan means, let's say after deploying to production, suddenly your application crashes. So you should always have a rollback plan. In most of the organizations, they have a proper rollback plan, basically deploying the last stable release to the product. So once you do the release, as a QA engineer, you have to monitor the production deployments and you have to coordinate for the team for the release. For example, if you are handling a team which has around four or five QAs, or maybe you are in an organization where there are four or five teams which have individual QA. Everyone is working on the same report and you have to sync with everyone if the changes are tested properly on the lower environment and if everything is okay to go live or not. So this is last but not the least. Bug management, this is again very important. In case if you identify any bugs during the testing, you should document them clearly and assign them to the developers for the fixing. So yeah, that's it for the video. This is a quick overview of the practical day-to-day -day activities of a QA engineer. So if you find this overview really helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And in case if you have any queries, drop them in the comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.